It's a tradition tens of thousands of people are taking part in right now, but this year that drive up north could get tricky because of all the changes and orange barrels. Now, if you're headed up to I-75, you're definitely going to want to be planning ahead for some trouble spots back here. Oh, get ready, everybody. That even includes construction on the Mackinac Bridge. Now, those are live pictures right now. You can see it is beautiful up there right now. So before you leave, you definitely want to know about all the handful of projects that could really slow things down. So for the answers, we want to get out to our business editor and up north bureau chief, Rob Maloney. Hey, Rod, you have experienced this firsthand. Well, I've, the last month I've driven to the tip of the mitt twice, have been noting all of the construction snarls that are up there, and they are myriad. There are 13 different projects, and you know how they move the barrels on the holidays? Well, on less than half of those, they're going to be moving the barrels. The rest of them are going to stay right where they are. You need to keep your head in a swivel, especially if you're headed north this weekend. We'll start going north in Oakland County. The I-75 Dixie Highway on-ramp closed. Once on the highway near Genesee County, there's I-75 construction with a crossover and only two lanes open each way until you hit Baldwin Road. Much farther north near Gaylord, the left-hand turn to Traverse is under construction, but the bigger issue is the business loop there exits 279 to 281 in Crawford County. M93 reconstruction has the road down to one lane each way. North of there in Sheboygan County at exit 310, there's another construction crossover, this one a flexible one, prompting a lot of weekend activity, MDOT spokesman James Lake saying. That allows us to have two lanes northbound for Fridays, which is the, the prevalent uh, travel direction. And then we can switch that mid weekend. And you can expect backed up traffic from there all the way north of the Mackinac Bridge as joint and concrete repair work on the bridge leaves only one lane open each way all weekend, promising worse than usual traffic headaches. We expect that that work is gonna wrap up by June 7th, but unfortunately that means one lane in each direction on the bridge for this busy weekend. What's more, after they finish that work, they're going to pave over each end of the bridge. So uh, this will be likely more difficult than, than most weekends. And they're saying it's going to go on for the next few weeks anyway as they do that project. Now, remember that you, USA Today rates Mackinac Island the number one vacation destination in the country, right? Good news. The bad news, getting to the ferry may be an adventure. Back to you. Always up for an adventure. All right. Hey, Rod, how about the Traverse City area? What are you hearing? Well, you know, I'm hearing it's not good there either, especially in town. They've got the road work down to the pavement, down to the dirt, rather, in some spots in Traverse City physically. So you're going to want to watch out for that as well. <laughs> With all of this, leave lots of time, like say, oh, I don't know, a day or two. <laughs> yeah, it is a mess, but it is beautiful up there. All right, Rod, we appreciate it. Sure is.